we gonna end the game? No, oh thank god. One year later. Dubstown apartment. Oh, no, it's knocking on the door. What am I doing under the covers there? Ah, sleeping. Mail time! Get out of bed now, we got mail. Alright. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Phew. Wow, what a nap. What time did I get in last night? Shit. It's like my people sleep when I got reset. I gotta get the sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to anyway, one month circadian master sleep achievements. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. How do we... Okay. One, one of one. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Boom, there we go. Have I got a little checkered vans on? Kinda cool. I've been wearing the same clothes since college. Whoa, why you changed now? How are they still in one piece? Nice, let's look at some of those peach peach pouches left. <laughs> Place in microwave for two minutes. Let cool for 30 seconds. Scold mouth for 10 minutes. Something's gonna count. Hey, we got a buck! Sweets. Books will never read. Underwear, clothes. Alright. A few notes. Tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately, or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. The convenience. 30 days overdue, pay up deadbeat. Right. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee before work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you and my manager. Hate slackers. Dark F. Right. So, we got a note from Dark F. What's going on here? Yes. Let's take a look. Whose apartment is this? <laughs> what are they? They're doing alright. Can we. Yes, we can be done. Can we look through this apartment door? Yes. More fucking? What is that? Oh, hitting a bong, I see. Great. Where is it? They know it's in here. Excuse me, Mrs. DeWilliger. Oh, pardon me, Blue Hat, am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. I never is enough time in the day, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Mrs. DeWilliger. The landlord, landlord's hunting me for this month's rent and I'm gonna slip out before he catches me. Where's your boyfriend? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. It's a real shame. You're such a nice kid. I'd hate to see you evicted. Whatever happened to that book you sold? Did it not make any money? Still I haven't finished it, but I'm waiting on the check from the publisher. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll finally be in my mailbox today. Well, that's just awful. I'll tell you what, if you need some money, you can come by my place later and you can help me clean up a little. I'm hosting a little get-together tonight and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. I'll think about it, Mrs. Terwilliger, you creepy old bat. Maybe I'll come by if I have the time later. If you've got plans, don't you worry about it. My door will be open if you change your mind, though. Have a good day, Blue Hat. I hope you find what you need. Always gets creepy philosophical. Crazy old people. Is she hitting a bong while fucking somebody? Yes. <laughs> uh, come on, mates. That was too easy. <laughs> oh. Alright. Well, that's been a problem for months. Let's beat it. Oh. 
Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. These lights off, I might be able to slip out of here undetected. Right, let's go. Shit! Hold it, Jumanji punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you here just because the lights are off? I had that clap on, clap off thing installed last week. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. You're gonna pay me what you owe? Or am I gonna have to toss your ass to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Don't worry about it, man. You know I'm good for it. That is so out of character. I'm expecting a check from my publisher real soon. Is he probably here right now? Yeah, let's just relax. Look, the check's gonna be here soon. It's gotta be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's delivered, right? I don't care if you've gotta get some greasy businessmen to eat sushi off your body. You had a time, little China girl? Pay me $500 by the end of the day or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back for me when you pay your bills. You gonna give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. Fuck, fine. Take the key. Creepy fuck. Come see me when you got the money and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. What a fucking asshole. 500 bucks. Go work at the Phoenix or I can go help Mrs. Terwilliger. Let's get to work. Dubs down. Check him. Hey, Blue Hat. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellender. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Well, fucking sleaze. Sounds productive? Well, look, I've got a hustle. My landlord wants 500 bucks by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. What? It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellender give you a Charlie motor. Thanks, Bellend. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come and see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. What a fucking creep, asshole. Anything? Oh. You found Indy Heroes Figure 23, Gladiator! Let's quickly save this up. 